Correct. So the WHO will send these recommendations to virtually all of the member countries. The countries can use them as they see fit with their professional societies as with their populations in general. The WHO guidelines are primarily intended to instruct people, doctors, societies on what they can do with their lifestyle to reduce the likelihood of developing cognitive impairment in the future. Sure. There are a few things that we can do that maybe will not, say, prevent Alzheimer's disease definitively, but may delay its onset, slow its progression if it develops. And usually one of the most impactful recommendations regards physical exercise. Now on the other side of the coin, something like uh, intellectual activities. We think from observational studies that people who stay more intellectually active may have a lower risk of developing cognitive impairment. But when you get down to actual exercises, training exercises, brain games and the like, there the data are, are a bit weaker and we can't say that if you do this particular exercise with your mind, you will not develop cognitive impairment and the like. Another topic is diet. Is there a diet out there that we can engage in that will reduce our likelihood of developing cognitive impairment? Most people now recommend the Mediterranean diet. So a diet that's generally heart healthy is probably a good idea for your overall nutrition as well as for the brain.